Hi guys, uh, <clears throat> my name is Mike Wuvaltz and I'm, I'm starting a new uh, YouTube channel dedicated to bushcraft and martial arts. I am a kickboxing instructor in uh, the area of Jamestown, New York, and I am in the process of pursuing my instructorship for teaching wilderness survival. And I am um, doing this through the Pathfinder School, Dave, Dave Canterbury's Pathfinder School down in Jackson, Ohio. I'd like to use this video to kind of serve as a bit of a rant slash review. I had just attended the basic survival course, the certification, the patching course down at Dave Canterbury's uh, school. And I, I know that before I went to this class that I had a lot of questions and I was looking things up on, on YouTube to try to get some idea of what I had to, to expect. And, um, and so I just like to share some things that I experienced while I was there. I am enrolled into the instructor program at the school, which means I have to go through the intermediate as well as the advanced two electives, my evaluation, and some on-the-job site training. So as far as the basic class was concerned, um, it was absolutely amazing. Dave Canberry and his crew, um, Corporal Kelly over at Corp Corporal's Corner, Matt Mercer at Black Hat Bushcraft was there as well. Um, one of the other instructors was Paul Hack at Adaptable Survival, I believe. And all those guys were absolutely amazing guys. Great instructors. Uh, they were very encouraging. They were uh, strict. They had, you know, they set high expectations for these patching classes, which is a good thing. And there's a good reason for it. Um, Corporal Kelly in particular is a very strict individual, but um, under him, you get stuff right for sure. So his methods serve a very good purpose and you'll learn a lot from him and, and all the other guys there. Uh, we started off with the basic gear dump. And I'm sure if you watch other videos, you'll be able to get uh, plenty knowledge on what the class, class curriculum looks like. Um, so I won't really go into that too much, honestly. Uh, what I will say is when I was speaking to uh, Dave Canterbury about starting a YouTube channel and wanting to discuss my experiences at the class, he was all for it. He said that he, he loves it when people share their experiences on YouTube. Um, if there was only one criticism i don't even know if it's really a criticism but just one thing that he wishes people would do more of is that they would rather than focus on how hard the class was albeit it was quite hard that he wishes they would focus a little bit more on on what they're getting out of the class more than just survival knowledge but more i guess on a visceral level what they're getting out of the experience so i'm going to back up a little bit and explain real quick as I said, I teach kickboxing at a gym. I, uh, I, I train people, uh, people that are wanting to fight. I used to actually compete myself. And with that said, this last weekend, this past weekend at the basic class is up there is one of the hardest things I've ever done. You know, these classes are intended to induce a level of stress and a, a little bit of deprivation. The, the deprivation, I, I suppose, comes more into play in future classes like the intermediate and advanced, but it does exist to a, to a fair degree in the basic as well, as you, you don't really have much time to heat up food and have a full meal so you can snack along the go. I didn't really snack a whole lot. I, I was a little bit underprepared, all, in all honesty. And there's also sleep deprivation too. You don't, you don't get as much sleep or at least quality sleep, especially if you're not accustomed to sleeping outside on the ground. But the class is meant to induce that level of stress and exhaustion on purpose so that not only are you learning these survival skills, but you're learning them um, while being pushed to your limit. And there's a very good reason for them doing this. And this is kind of where Dave Canterbury was talking about how he wishes people would focus a little bit more on what they're getting out of the experience. So with that said, I myself being an instructor for kickboxing, even I, ex I experienced um, a pretty good level of stress. I was pretty exhausted. We did a lot of hiking in very, very warm weather, a little undernourished. Uh, there was plenty of water, although you can only bring, when you go on your nav hikes and such, you can only bring in 
a certain amount of water with you. So you're probably going to get a little bit dehydrated. And then after at the end of all this stress, you have to come back and meet your deliverables and your tests. And it's it's there's quite a bit of pressure and it doesn't really let up throughout the entire course. So it was tough and it definitely pushed me to my maximum. And then I had to perform at that level. The point that I'm trying to get to is it is meant to kind of make you a little bit miserable so that you can learn who you're going to be when you're actually pushed to the level that you would likely be pushed to in a real survival situation. You can go to any other school in the country and learn any survival skill out there, you know, like firecraft, um, navigation, resource procurement, and water disinfection, those sorts of things you can learn anywhere. You can get on the internet and learn those sort of things. But one of the things that you're going to be learning, and I would say probably one of the most important things you're going to be learning at this class, at Dave Canterbury School specifically, is what it's like to have to perform these skills under a very high level of stress, under a fair amount of deprivation, and at a, and at a, at a level of extreme exha exhaustion. I have a, a fair amount of knowledge, survival knowledge, trapped up in my head. I've been studying this stuff for a long time. I've been practicing this stuff for a long time. There wasn't a whole lot at this class in the way of technical knowledge that I didn't already know, although I did find that I was sloppier on some things that I thought I was, um, and the instructors there definitely tightened up on my sloppiness with my technique with a lot of things. But the one thing that I really took away from the class is that even the things that you know that you know that you know might not be what you, you might not have it to the level you think you do once you hit that level of exhaustion that they push you to. And then suddenly a simple Marlin spike hitch becomes a little bit confusing and you'll be thinking to yourself, like, where did my brain go? Like, I knew this stuff and right now I'm struggling. Uh, and, and that's the point of the class. It's for you to experience that and then to push through it and persevere and succeed. Now, I did hear a couple of comments from my peers at the school that um, that the instructors maybe were kind of reveling in our misery and finding some sort of enjoyment out of us kind of being miserable. They said this like a joke. Um, all my peers at the school were absolutely awesome guys. But I can imagine that some people would maybe think that as they're going through the class uh, and you, you know, you're, you just got done hiking some miles on your nav course, dragging back a bag of sticks and you pass David Canterbury and he's like, way to go it out, man. And he cracks some joke and laughs and you're thinking to yourself, man, you're, you're awfully happy and I'm quite miserable at the moment. Um, if you perceive that they're enjoying your suffering, I can almost 100% assure you that that's not what you're seeing at all. What what you're seeing is that they enjoy seeing people persevere and push through hardships. They enjoy teaching these skills and then pushing people to a point to to, uh, to having to apply these skills in a very stressful situation and they in see, enjoy seeing them succeed at it. Um, when you see Dave and any of the other guys smiling while you're kind of in a miserable state, they're not smiling at your misery. They're smiling because they know what you're going to find on the other side of that misery. Um, and what you do find on the other side of that misery is probably, I would say, maybe more valuable than all the rest of what they're teaching at that class. Because like I said, you can learn survival skills anywhere. But to be pushed to the point of drop dead exhaustion and then have to apply those skills you learn a lot you learn a lot about yourself I, I understand this with my background as a fight instructor i understand that no person very few unless you're david goggins or some you know other some of the other freaks out in the world but very few little to no people can push themselves to the point of desperation that somebody else can push them uh, there's a reason why trained fighters need coaches because they will never be able to push themselves to their absolute limits as a coach will push them and they need someone to do that for them so that they know who they're going to be when they have absolutely reached their limit. They need to know at that level that their kicks, their punches, their knees, their elbows, their footwork, that it's all going to serve them when their mind is so stressed out that it's almost not even there anymore. And that's the experience that this school offers. 
I highly recommend everybody check it out. It is an amazing experience. I I learned, I walked away feeling a little bit different as a person. I'll just put it that way. And I can only imagine what the future classes hold in store as far as the survival lessons, the technical lessons, but also the personal lessons that I'm going to experience. I'm, it's once you get through it, it becomes kind of addicting. Ever since I've been back, I haven't been able to stop thinking about going back. And I'm already looking up more classes to take as my electives because I, I want to get my butt back there. And I want, I want to be miserable with Corporal Kelly yelling at me that I'm screwing everything up. I, I want to be back at that again because the drive home was, was amazing. Just soaking up the experience. So I highly recommend that people go to the Pathfinder webpage. It's uh, I'll put a link in, in the description and check out these classes. Look, it comes down to this. If you're looking to get into survival and you're wondering if, you know, what school you should go to and if these type of classes are for you, then I'll offer you this question. Do you want to learn survival skills and wilderness skills, but not really know if they're going to be there for you should you ever find yourself in a real situation? Or do you want to learn survival skills and find out who you're going to be should you ever actually have to use them? If your answer is the latter, then you need to go to the school. That's all I got to say about that. I'm new to YouTube, guys. I'm looking to start this as a bushcraft channel and a martial arts channel. I'm going to probably at least put out one video a month. Um, for anybody who tunes in and watches this, whether it's one person, two people, 12 people, God willing, a thousand on up, I, I appreciate every single one of you for even giving me an ounce of your time, an ounce of your energy, or an ounce of your thought. To Dave Canterbury and the Pathfinder crew, you guys are amazing dudes. I, uh, I'm i so grateful for you all. I'm grateful for the experience. I'm so happy that I chose your school to go to, and you will be seeing me again. I'm going to be like one of those ticks down there. You're just not going to be able to get rid of me. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, um, and I hope you have a blessed day.